So this is the first time that I have painted outside and indeed filmed my painting outside. And one of the reasons why I decided to do it is because we have been sleeping in the tent that we bought a couple of weeks ago. We've been sleeping in it every night. And one of the things that I've noticed when I get up in the morning, I get up with the sun and the birds. They are very, very loud. And when I go in the house, it just seems so dark and gloomy and almost depressing when I'm inside, especially when it's sunny outside. And I never noticed that when I was sleeping indoors because obviously when you get up in the morning, the curtains are closed, you go down the stairs, you might open the curtains, but it's still not bright. You're adjusting to the light for ages. Whereas in the morning when I wake up now in the tent, I'm already in that bright sunlight. So going indoors, as I said, the contrast is huge. And so on the day that I did this painting, I just couldn't bear the thought of sitting inside and painting in that dark little corner, even though I have a little lamp and everything and it's, it's nice. It just, it just didn't seem right for me. And when I was outside, I discovered just how good for my mental health it was to be painting outside because the fresh air, the sunshine, the birds singing, it just was such a lovely experience. But there were a few things that make me think it is going to be a rare experience. One of them was that where I was painting, I only had a certain amount of time before the sunlight came right across because where the table is situated, we have an umbrella on it, but as the sun goes into the afternoon, it completely bathes the table in sunlight and the umbrella becomes completely useless. And we could move the table, but I'm lazy. And so that's not gonna happen. The other thing also to do with my laziness is that I do have my art area set up. I do have like a mini art studio in the dining room. And so everything is there ready. My arms for my camera and everything is there. So I, all I have to do is get my paints out and then I can get going and it's all ready. But going outside, I had to take everything outside, make sure the camera was in the right place. I decided to film everything as well on my phone. So I had to get that in the right place and hope that it wasn't in the sun too often. I can't remember whether it was in the sun. I don't think it was. I think that might have been a disaster if I had my phone filming in the sun. It was overheating as it was. That was one of the downsides of it and also putting everything away. I mean, obviously I can't leave anything out there. I couldn't leave things out in the sunshine once the sun was on everything. It was quite... But one of the issues I had was that our neighbours, you know, they like to play music and it's one thing to have neighbours playing music, but when they're playing it so loud that it, well, it's just, it's just intrusive. It really, really is. But also, I think at one point one of our neighbours started shouting at someone and swearing at them. I was <laughs> like, so, okay, that would go down well. Um, and as much as I would never live stream, I don't think, it would be nice to think that I could and being outside, in that situation and then having that happen just it just wouldn't it wouldn't work it wouldn't um i do think one of the lovely things that i discovered was the lights coming through the windows and the door of the doll's house front as the sun was coming round and if i'd known that was happening i didn't realize until i watched the video afterwards but if i'd known it was happening i would have made more of a thing of it i think i would have moved some of the books out of the way and, and i don't know done a little time lapse of that because it did look really sweet Another thing about having the doll's house front out, it was quite windy and I did have to hold on to it a couple of times because it was, it did look like it was going to topple over. The table also was moving. I mean, it was really windy that day, which was a good thing because I think it was quite hot as well. It's the day before we had a, a little mini heat wave. Something that was really good about being outside was that when I'm inside, I listen to music or audiobooks, and f and for some reason, I just I just found so I found I was so relaxed outside, and I didn't feel like I needed that distraction. I do need either to listen to a piece of music over and over again to keep focused, or listen to an audiobook. I really like listening to um, Harry Potter because I love. I've forgotten the name of the man who does it. Oh, that's awful. Um, but his voice is so lovely, and it sort of keeps me in my own little world but the downside to that is that every time I want to get up I have to take my headphones off and pause the audio even though I've listened to the Harry Potter books a million times. Of course one of the downsides I would say is that inside I have that consistent lighting which is nice I can paint at any time of the day so I couldn't obviously do it at night although I wonder whether I could take a light outside. In fact I'm curious now as to whether I can do that that would be quite nice to have like little candles everywhere and then just I don't know whether it would look right though if you had lots of candles and then you had like the ring light whether it would 
washed out the candles or just not. I don't know. I'm going to try that. Although last night we did sit outside and watch a film on the tablet and it was really quite windy and most of the candles blew out eventually. I had to keep lighting them. It was, yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that actually. I'm going to paint outside with candles and I'm going to, yeah, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually really excited about that. I've gone from, I probably won't do this again because I think so that'd be really interesting to try. I think definitely if I can, if I can get a warm night when it's not windy, I don't know. So funnily enough, I was thinking to myself, I probably won't do this again for a long time, but now I'm really excited to try an evening painting something, something that doesn't take very long. Whether I would do it once it's actually got dark or whether I would, I don't know. Mm, it's quite interesting to think. I suddenly have this thought, I'm, I'm excited about it now. I feel like I want to stop this video and go and do that. So I have to say, I think in conclusion, it was a really good experience painting outside and even filming outside. The only, I think the only downsides really were the audio, not being able to use a lot of it because of outside influences. That really doesn't bother me. I think, you know, it's not the end of the world having to add audio from different times. I do have some nice bird song audio, but anyway. I think as well that I would need to plan it a little bit more. I think I'd like to work out how long I'd have outside, what the best time of day to do it would be. I didn't really think about any of those things. I just thought, right, I'm going to paint now. Also, um, I don't know what else I would think about. Yeah, all I'm thinking about now is painting outside at night. That's like a, like a, ooh, I definitely want to have a go at that. I would also say there's more room outside. I don't feel as claustrophobic. And I would say for my mental health, working outside as much as possible is probably the best thing. I mean, I certainly try and work on my laptop as much as I can outside now. And especially with editing videos, if I can sit outside, obviously not in the sunshine because it doesn't work so well. But as I said, I definitely want to try um, painting in the evening. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. I am actually scared of the dark. But I think it's something I want to try. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So if you want to see that, do subscribe and get notifications. And also hit the like button because it really does make me happy. And thank you for watching.